Okay, let's tackle this uh, equation and solve for m. Now, uh, before we get going here, um, I'd like you to tell me in the comment section what type of equation is this, okay? Just uh, tell me and describe it in your own terms, what type of equation is it? Some of you might say it's an algebra equation. I don't want to give you uh, too many hints right now because I want you to think about it, but what type, this is a particular type of equation, okay? And in order to solve this, you should be able to identify what type of equation this is. Now, if you don't know the term, don't, you know, don't feel bad about it, but maybe you can tell me how you would solve this problem. Now, uh, really, honestly, what I want you to do is to pause the video and solve it. Uh, this particular problem should take you all of about 32 seconds. It's not that difficult, okay? So that's a little bit of a hint. So if you want to solve it and put in your answers in the comment section, that would be excellent because obviously I'm going to solve this here in just one second. So I don't want to give you too many hints yet as uh, some of you think about this. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're having a tough time in any uh, math course, the middle school, high school, or even the college uh, level, I can help you out. If you're taking an exam and it has math on it, okay, for example, like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or ALEX exam, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. There's a ton of exams out there uh, that people have to take for all various types of reasons. And oftentimes there's this little pesky math section on there. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. Um, if you homeschool, I have a great comprehensive homeschool math program um, that you might be interested in. And if you don't have math notes, I can uh, offer you mine. Okay, the, the links to my math notes will be in the description of this video. But hopefully you do have great math notes because that is one of the secrets to doing outstanding in mathematics. All right, I've been teaching math for decades, and this is the key. Okay, one of the most foundational uh, things, habits that you can do is to take great math notes to be successful in mathematics. Okay, so let's get back to this problem again. Okay, I want you to tell me, all right, in the comment sections, what type of equation this is. Now, uh, maybe you're going to get the right answer, and you just can't tell me uh, the technical name or the, you know, the actual, you know, uh, specific uh, type of equation that is. I'm not going to hold that against you, but it's important that you recognize uh, this problem. Now, Let's go ahead and get to the actual solution here. Again, put in your answers uh, in the comment sections as well if you uh, solve this thing. All right, so first things first, what type of equation is this? Well, this happens to be a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation. Now, let me scoot these uh, our answers down here. Well, let me just tell you the answers first because I've already solved this. M is equal to zero and M is equal to negative one. So we have two uh, solutions here, okay? So uh, that is the answer. So if you said quadratic equation and here m is equal to zero and m is equal to negative one, then I must give you a outstanding happy face, a plus 100% nice job, okay? So, um, but it's important in algebra that you recognize what type of equation that you're dealing with, okay? Now, if you didn't remember the name, but you still got the answers right, then that's good too. But it's important, again, that you do remember this terminology. Now, here I have 7m times m plus 1. Now, if you started the problem this way and you multiplied in and you went 7m squared plus 7m is equal to 0, that right there, that step might have, you know, um, indicated to you, oh, this is a quadratic equation because I see a variable squared. Okay, now I don't want to get into all the technical specifications, what makes a quadratic equation a quadratic equation, but basically I do want to just say this much. It's a polynomial of degree two, right? The highest uh, power is two, meaning that there's always going to be two solutions to a quadratic equation. So if I gave you the answer, if I gave you the problem this way, what would be your first move? Well, your first move would be to try to factor, and of course the problem is already factored right here for us. So uh, when something's factored, it's super easy to do because all we need to all we need to do is take the factors and set them equal to zero. So I got 7m is equal to zero and m plus one is equal to zero. And then here I just solve uh, for m. So 7m is equal to zero, 
m is equal to zero there, uh, there, and m plus one is equal to zero. Of course, m is equal to negative one. So this is an illustration of what we call the zero product property. But uh, hopefully, most of you out there got this problem right. This is pretty easy. Now, on the surface, it might look a little intimidating, but again, if you know what you're doing, that's the key to uh, being successful in math, right? Uh, just don't judge a problem on the surface and be like, oh, this looks complicated. It doesn't have to be that complicated. So hopefully uh, this was a good little quick review for a quadratic equation problem. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you uh, consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, uh, basic to advanced mathematics. So um, if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content there. But my best math help will be within my math help program. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.